What's up, Trainiacs? Welcome to this week's Triathlon Newsday Tuesday. In this week's edition of Newsday, you can get yourself some serious swag for, well, frankly, you'd be stupid not to at these prices. Heroes set world records and coverage of many races continues to expand, so it's easier for us tri nerds to constantly consume endurance content. I mean, not as good as this, but pretty good. What's up, Trainiacs? Welcome to this week's Triathlon News Day Tuesday, where every single Tuesday, as long as there are news items to talk about all around the triathlon world, we go over those. Make sure you stick around to the end, where, as always, everyone's favorite part of Triathlon News Day, that's a story from the Trainiac community, is shared, and, as always, full links to everything we talk about will be in the description below. Let's start off with our pals. This isn't necessarily news, but it's an annual thing that people always Instagram about because the sales are so good. Our pals over at Roka are holding their annual Memorial Day, really Memorial Week, sale where the entire site has up to 30% off. And I wanted to include this because Team Trainiac members can get additional discounts just for being on Team Trainiac, so go check that out. It's not really news, however, there are some really wicked deals there that uh, I go cash in on. All right, now getting into the actual news of this week. Pro triathlete Jesse Thomas has been recovering from foot surgery, crutchy, crutchy and around on crutches, and he decided to make something of it, and he actually ended up setting the world five kilometer crutch record, crutching a 5K race in a time of 32.43. Now I know a lot of triathletes out there, myself included when I was early on, would have loved to do an actual 5K just running race in 32.43. Jesse Thomas goes and does it fully kitted up on crutches. Good on you, Jesse. There's no reason that all of us able-bodied people out there can't go and try a 5K race. If you're wondering like, oh, I'm not fit enough, we got a man with broken feet going and crutching his way to a 5K runtime that a lot of us would love to have. The challenge family of races, Challenge Roth, Challenge Samarin, Challenge, Challenge, Challenge is expanding continuously. If there is a series of races out there that is competing with Ironman, it's the challenge family of races. Personally, my first full distance Ironman this summer is going to end up being Challenge Roth because it's such a good event. Well, they've continued to expand that brand of races, announcing just last week that they would be broadcasting live the Challenge Championship race. This is kind of like their version of Ironman Kona and Challenge Roth itself. So if you wanna see Cam Worf try to lap me on the course, you might just get to see that happen live. Coming for you, Cam. Actually, I'm trying to run away from you, Cam. Related to that, Endurance Sports TV launched recently and they've already got a huge library of cycling, adventure races, road running races, off-road running races, triathlons. Now this is a online subscription model where for $6.99 British pounds per month, or 69.99 British pounds per year, or a 30 day free trial, you can go and tune into races. Now, tuning into races isn't necessarily live streaming races, it is coverage of races compiled after the event. Now, if you go and take a look at the library, they already have a huge amount of content there. Now, in some cases, they aren't going to be the premier say Ironman events because Ironman probably wouldn't let that compete with Facebook now, but there are races like local races, the challenge family of races. I think overall this is really good like background TV kind of content for $6.99 British pounds a month. Not a bad deal. The WTS World Triathlon Series. This is the series in ITU racing that is like the best of the best. This is where all of the short course speedsters show up to really throw down and accumulate points that account for the world championship ranking at the end of the year. So this is the start 
of the short course ITU really elite series of races. And it started with WTS Yokohama over the weekend, which on the men's side was won by Vincent Louis in just a few seconds over Henry Schumann. But what is really interesting about this is that Javier Gomez finished fourth. Now he has been racing short course over the last couple of months, but he hasn't been racing the best of the best, so he didn't know if Javier was able to come back to that short course racing after a few years of long course racing, finishing fourth, pretty good stamp of approval. On the women's side, the US women swept the podium with Katie Zafiris coming out on top by 21 seconds over Sama Rappaport, who in my opinion wins for best name, and Taylor Spivy, who rounded out the podium, finishing third. In Ironman racing, half Ironman Barcelona occurred over the weekend with Bart Arnault winning just ahead of David McNamee. Now in Kona, if you remember in 2018, Bart Arnault finished just ahead of David McNamee. Are we going to see a bit of a back and forth, a little bit of a rivalry there? Maybe. On the women's side, Fenelda Langridge also We've talked about this and disclaimer for this entire channel, I'm not good at pronouncing names, foreign names in particular, or foreign words. That's not much of an excuse here because she is from Great Britain and she won very convincingly, finishing seven minutes ahead of the next closest female. In North America, half Ironman Chattanooga happened with Heather Jackson winning the women's race after previously in the last race she was in having a panic attack in the water, coming back, nabbing the top spot on the podium. And on the men's side, one of Kim's favorite podcast guests that we've ever had, Sam Long, won his first overall title in pro Ironman racing. Congratulations to Sam. Now, talking about the podcast, we just released a podcast with Lauren Goss, pro triathlete, who is really, really talented. But what we talked to Lauren a lot about is that a year ago at this time, she was on sleeping medication, antidepressants, wasn't sure if she was going to continue on in triathlon. She comes back and now winning races like Half Ironman Monterey. Also, later today, just a few hours from now, we're going to be interviewing Paul McKinnon, the balanced runner on Instagram, who has been helping me with huge success at making my running much more efficient, using much less oxygen and lowering the heart rate that I run at a given pace. And it's been brilliant. It's also got a fairly good mustache and a really good dog. Then tomorrow we will be recording a podcast with Alex Hutchinson, the author of Endure, which is a book about what it takes to be an athlete and get through these races and why we put ourselves through this. He himself has been an elite runner before, so I'm really looking forward to that chat. Now let's get into the Trainiac story of the week, and it's a good one. It goes, I am Will, a triathlete from Sydney, Australia. Back in 2009, my housemate Lakey told me to put some exercise gear on and follow him. Turns out we were heading for a 10K run, which was the first time I'd properly run for exercise since high school. I loved it. About two years later, I was ready to enter my first full marathon, and I managed to get under four hours, but I also managed to pick up IT band syndrome in the process. It made me believe that I was never going to run a marathon again. I started cycling and running shorter distances and eventually in 2014, Lakey asked if I wanted to do the Ironman 70.3 Western Sydney race. Being from Australia, I'd done loads of swimming as a kid, so this was easy to pick up, but unfortunately, I got runner's knee and IT band syndrome just a couple of months out from the Ironman 70.3, so I had to withdraw. At this point, I'd completely given up hope on running, but I eventually, looked into barefoot running so I could force myself to run more naturally and safely, and I've been IT band syndrome free since. Last year, I then decided that I would sign up for 2019 Ironman Australia. Finally, May came around this year and I was ready for the Ironman, but unfortunately, two days before the race, I found myself getting strong cold symptoms. I decided I would still go ahead with the Ironman though with the understanding that I probably wouldn't be getting my goal time. The race itself was a roller coaster of emotions. I started out strong with a great swim and a strong first bike lap, but then on the second lap of the bike, I became drained of energy. Then coming into the run, I found it hard to take on nutrition, feeling sick every time I started running after eating or drinking anything. 
It hurt like hell, but in the end, I managed to power through and I crossed the finish line in 1325 with friends cheering me on along the red carpet. It wasn't until the day after the race when I went to see a doctor that I found out I most likely had both a viral and bacterial infection resulting in gunk in my lungs and I'm sure that the race didn't help that much. Now why I'm writing this is that it doesn't matter if you don't achieve your goal time. It doesn't matter that plans don't go perfectly. What matters is that you keep pushing and you do the very best that you are capable of doing on that day. Sincerely, Will. Thanks Will, normally I like to comment about why I included people's stories here, but you said it there right at the end. It doesn't matter what time you get, whether you finish first or last in an age category, we're all just here trying to do the best that we can on every given day, and that best is different every single day. Good for you for powering through it. And thanks for sharing your story. If anyone else here wants to get their story shared on Triathlon Newsday, email me at Taryn at triathlonterran.com. We love hearing these stories. And believe it or not, we share just about every single one. So if you email it in, odds are your story will be shared and you will help motivate people all around the world. So thank you, Will. And thank you to everyone for watching. If you like Triathlon Newsday and you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. Later, Trainiac.